Remarkably, Holyfield ended that fight still standing, despite the fact that his heart was in severe distress. He was suffering from an undiscovered heart condition that made it far too dangerous for him to keep fighting. So Holyfield has now retired, but he's still a champion. My son said, Daddy, your nose hurt like this. I said, yeah, but I said, you know what? I said, everybody else got to go to work. I said, you know what? The weekend is over. I said, you know what? I said, I get two months off, man. I said, two months off. And I said, you know what? I made enough money for 10 years. <laughs> I, said, I said, 10 years. I said, I, said, I said, that's it. I said, I got 10 years before I had to look for a job. I survived 12 rounds. I didn't fight 12 rounds. I survived 12 rounds. You know, that's how I look at that fight. For the moment, Evander is simply running, trying to stay out of trouble. Every punch I threw was a struggle. Las Vegas, 10 days ago, Evander Holyfield, the heavyweight champion of the world, was defending his titles against Michael Moore. To be empty here, at least for the moment. But from the first punch in the first round, Holyfield knew there was something seriously wrong. My breathing wasn't all in the sink. But my mind was all there. I can hear and I, I'm coherent. I can hear everything, but nothing was responding. Evander, Evander's the type of guy that if you fought, when you fought Evander, he studied, before the fight, he studied you. And he knew how to come around and do the things that he's supposed to do. I don't know if he watched tapes or not. Did you watch tapes? All the time. He watched it and he studied. Every time he studied, he would always be victorious. Look at when he fought Lennox Lewis. Big, tall, heavy guy. He loved to fight them guys. Mm -hmm. I, I thought, was that right? I tell people all the time, I said, let me tell you, you think a fighter, a heavyweight got to be 6'4", 235 pounds. I said, let me explain something to you guys. I said, Holyfield is coming up in weight, but he gonna take his speed, and he's gonna take his combinations with him. Mm -hmm. I said, now the heavyweight ain't gonna throw as many punches as he's gonna throw. You got to understand that. Yeah. You can take you can take a good middleweight right. and you can be the average heavyweight with him because he got power and he got speed. That's how Roy Jones See, beat. So John you Reed. got to be, that's right. Yeah. So you got to understand that. You got to you got to research all that, but when you're getting ready to go into the fight, this man is coming. When well, you throwing one or two shots, this man throw five or six. You got to understand that. And most of them gonna land. Because you're too slow for him, you're too big. So, oh, he big, he's gonna get hit with a big shot. All right, you might get hit with a couple big shots. He might hit you with five or six, and them five or six don't add up. Oh, a straight right combination by Holyfield. Holyfield looking to air it out. Holyfield's unloading, now he's taking a shot. He's going for it. Oh, Tyson's in trouble. Holyfield smothers Tyson. Looking to put Tyson down. What, what makes you decide to give it up? I said, when they try to make me fight them young kids who got them quick hand, brand new body and all this, yeah. youth is they strength and what what I'm gonna do and they and they bigger. Yeah. I said, look, I said, you know, I said, no. I said, but you know they, the game though. But, but they don't let me, if they don't let me fight Clisco, I know good and well, yeah. I'm not gonna be, Taking all this yeah, with these with these young kids, yeah. these young kids and stuff like that. Then, then if I win, I'm still not happy because the fact is that they they, they need to be better. You yeah, supposed to show them. Sure, I say you. I'm in a no-win situation. That's when I stopped.